Mm. Pumpkin show. I, I am very happy with you. Not that you control the weather. <laughs> You're like, what is she See, talking here's about? Here's the deal, here's the deal. You know, you can, you can be happy with me with the forecast when it's sunny, <laughs> but when it rains, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, so a little birdie, and I mean our producer, Abby, says that today might be one of the warmest days of the mm -hmm. year, uh, not the year, the week. <laughs> yes, the week. <laughs> I'm the week. my facts straight. There you go, yeah. Today we're gonna be up into the mid 60s within the next couple of hours. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people out and about this morning were Grabbing the coat, grabbing the jacket. Well, guess what? You can throw that aside here in just the next little bit as temperatures climb. We already have plenty of sun out there right now, and this is what we're going to continue to see as we head through the rest of the day. We're already up to 56 degrees here in Columbus. We've got 57 as we look to London. Circleville, 58 right now. 55 Coshocton, Zanesville, 57, and a nice and comfortable 56 in MacArthur. So if you are headed out to the pumpkin show today. Things looking nice as we head through the rest of the day. Again, we've already seen those cool temperatures this morning. We're back to the 60s over the next few hours with highs today around 65 for Circleville. Columbus going to be sitting closer to 64. So dry today. Unfortunately, not the case as we look through the rest of the week. We are going to see rain chances Thursday, Friday and Saturday, but don't cancel the outdoor plans. All right. The rain that we do see is going to be spotty. It's going to be out there for specific portions of the day, and there's going to be plenty of time to get out in between the showers. So let's walk through today and into tomorrow to give you a better idea of what we're looking at. So again, heading through this afternoon, skies are clear, temperatures are climbing. We're back to the 60s by around 5 o'clock. We're keeping that sunshine. It's a couple clouds at times, but generally on the sunnier side today. Clouds thicken up as we head into the overnight hours. After 9, we see them start to uh, arrive. They do push across the area. So by 5 in the morning, we do have widespread cloud cover, which is actually going to do us a favor. It's going to keep temperatures just a touch warmer tomorrow morning, more 40s and 50s and less 30s and 40s. Then as we head through the day, temperatures climb. We've got some strong winds out of the south that are going to really be warming temperatures up. In fact, tomorrow will be warmer than today, but showers arrive after 2 p.m. for some spots right at 2 p.m. So Urbana, Kenton already seeing that first round of light showers. Now these are going to be sparse. They'll come through, give you a light drizzle of rain and then move right on out of there. We do see some heavier stuff develop through the overnight hours though. We're getting some yellows, some oranges here, some more widespread rainfall. Temperatures stay mild through the overnight hours, but we do see more showers and also more cloudy skies throughout your Friday, which is going to prevent us from warming up too much because at the same time, winds are going to be turning back towards the west, pulling in a milder air mass. So temperatures begin to fall as we head into Saturday. We'll have a front finally pass through, but for your Friday night football, going to be a little bit soggy at times. We'll have some spotty showers. It's not going to be a washout, but definitely me might be one that if you're sitting in the stands, I'd say go ahead and plan on packing the poncho. Now we do have drier skies after Saturday. Saturday is going to be pretty similar to Friday. If you're headed to the OSU game, just grab the rain jacket. We do have more sunshine and more comfortable temperatures as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Less rain too, but rain does return to the forecast again as we head into the end of next week. A very similar setup Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, watching showers with temperatures back in the upper 60s.